Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Joao. And I'm Irene of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Did you know that mitochondria play a big role in cancer? I did not know that. I know that mutation in the mitochondrial DNA can cause fatal or severe disorders. It is a very important organelle that plays a role in energy production. The cool thing is that in a recent paper, Ma and co-workers were able to correct pluripotent stem cells from the patients with mitochondrial DNA disease. Patients with the corrected mitochondrial DNA exhibited normal metabolic function. Cancer is different. For example, triple negative breast cancer has a five-fold higher frequency of mitochondrial DNA transfer to the genome compared to EA-positive breast cancers. The researchers show that mitochondrial genome DNA fusions occur in conjunction with large structural rearrangements. How is that possible? The mitochondria are separated from the nucleus by the cytoplasm. Well, cancer cells with their increased energy demands may lead to the degradation of mitochondria, and the bits and pieces can end up in the cytoplasm. Also, the nuclear membrane is broken during mitosis, so that is an opportunity for the mitochondrial DNA to escape. And that is when mitochondrial DNA could be picked up and incorporated during nuclear DNA replication. Are these fragments expressed in the genome? You know, no. The mitochondrial DNA fragments could not be detected by RNA-seq of cell lines, but it is possible that the insertion events can actually truncate the cancer genes. I guess it will take some more work to figure out how important this is in cancer progression. But this is another example of those unexpected events we could only discover through sequencing. I'm sure there's a lot more that we don't know about. We'd love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you'd like us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on social media hashtag Simon. Until next time, bye. Bye.